Well, a 13 Action News update tonight on those 164 Pomeranians rescued from the back of a U-Haul. Today, some of the dogs found a forever home. Today, the Golden Knights auctioned off five of the dogs for adoption. 13 Action News reporter Tom George explains how the Animal Foundation made sure the new owners are properly vetted. But today, to have your pick of the litter, the top bid was $1,600. The Animal Foundation teamed up with the stars of the Golden Knights to showcase some of the 164 Pomeranians rescued from an alleged puppy mill found in a U-Haul truck. Today, getting forever homes, thanks to a live auction and raffle to benefit the foundation. It's, it's a heartwarming thing that like all of the dogs are definitely walking out with a new happy family. They're a brilliant breed. They're just all about love. But Gina Greeson with Nevada Voters for Animals who helped save the dogs from the condition they were in says this wasn't the best way to find them the right homes. The message that it sends to treat them like they're door prizes. I mean, I just can't believe they auction them off the way that you'd auction a car off or a computer or show tickets. Clark County Code bans the promotional sale of live animals and Greeson is also concerned about making sure the potential dog owners are the right fit. But the Animal Foundation says they use the same process as a normal adoption. We've got professional adoption counselors. They've got to show proper ID and, and proof and all of that. They go through an interview process, a vetting process, and it's got to be face to face and in person. And some of the winners we talked with say they're already familiar with Pomeranians and rescues. They're a hyper dog. They'll, they'll like to bark and all that. And they need to be groomed and need to keep their fur long, otherwise, it'll be all matted and gets really bad. They say this was more than just a prize. Their new dog, Flower, now a member of their family. She's going to have a much better life at our house. She'll have a half acre to run around in and have fun. <laughs> now they say these Pomeranians have become so popular that in addition to the auction they just had here, they're posting links to bid on the remaining Pomeranians online. Reporting from City National Arena, Tom George, 13 Action News. How many of those Pomeranians do you think are going to